Now, I know there's still uh, four minutes and 28 seconds left and counting, but the Jets are about to lose another game to the Bengals. Um, they beat them last year, and then Mike, the Mike White historical quarterback game where all Jets fans seem to think that Mike White was going to become the next Tom Brady, though that was short-lived, and a couple games later it didn't even matter and is irrelevant now. But the Jets, after coming back and showing a great performance against the Browns, who are surprisingly 2-1, and one, the Jets handed them only lost in a 31-30 game. The Jets are about to lose to the Bengals, who are 0-2, but were bound to eventually show off a great performance and probably beat the Jets badly. Now, I'm a Jets fan, as everyone knows from these videos, and I'm not too shocked. I'm just shocked with the fact that Jets' offense couldn't score more against. Yes, the Bengals' good defense, but the fact that after showing up a great second half against the Browns, the Jets lack offense late. And hold the, the defense holding back Joe Burrow and the Bengals' offense pretty well. The Jets could not rebound and score points late. I don't care if it's Flacco or not. It's the fact that the Jets come out after a great comeback last game. And again, disappoint in late in this game against the Bengals. And continue to just disappoint the Jets fans, the Jets, you know, future, so to say, with the offense and the team. And it's just a, a disappointing game after the last one. The Jets yet again a one and two. Yes, it's better than zero and three. The Jets' first September win since 2018, which I believe is Sam Darnold's rookie year, and Darnold's long gone. Zach Wilson will be back in Week Four against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, but who cares? The Jets have lost yet again, 27 to 12. So much for a great showing going forward with the future of the team, and the Jets are going to yet again lose. And it's a